equilibrium and acid dissociation constants. Like all other equilibria, uh, we learned about equilibrium um, in chapter 6. Uh, like all other equilibria, we can also write an equilibrium constant expression for the acid-base reactions. Um, and but we can do that only for strong weak acids I'm sorry weak acids and weak bases because strong acids and strong bases they break down 100% so there is no reverse reaction and you learned in chapter 6 that the equilibrium constant which we denoted by k represents or it shows the ratio of the concentration of products to the concentration of reactants raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients. So let's say, let's talk about a general reaction. Um, a general acid, a, I can write down HA. HA basically represents an acid, a generic way to write it down because we know acid needs to have an H. Uh, so, when you put this weak acid, and it is a weak acid, because weak acid does not dissociate completely. So, you put the equilibrium sign. Acid donates the proton. So, plus A negative. So, this is an acid. It got rid of this proton. So, we have A negative. Base accepts the proton then we have S3O plus. This acid is aqueous, this is liquid, here aqueous and aqueous. And when we write down equilibrium constant expression, we know that we do not write down anything that has solid or liquid written next to it. So my equilibrium constant expression, and I'm going to write down Ka, a stands for acid since we are talking about acid so it is an equilibrium constant for acid or we can also call it as acid dissociation constant it is the concentration of products these are my products h3o plus times a negative divided by the concentration of reactant so I can take um, another example for example, let's say I have this weak acid, acetic acid. When we put it in the water, it breaks down to form these ions. Since it's a weak acid, uh, we put the equilibrium sign and acid dissociation constant will be concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants. Now what does this Ka signify? And if you think, if you remember in chapter 6 we learned K, what does K signify? Higher the value of K, more product is forming and we have more product at equilibrium. That's the same thing here with Ka. Higher the value of Ka, stronger the acid is because then it is dissociating more to form the product. So, or stronger the acid, larger is the Ka value. So, let's say if these four acids and their Ka values are given to here, and the question is which one out of these four is the strongest acid? So, the strongest acid means it is going, you have to look for highest Ka value. largest Ka value and out of these four which one is the largest value this smaller negative number is the higher number so out of these four HSO4 negative is the strongest acid strong weak these all are relative terms compared to what now, in this, comparing to uh, these three acids, HSO4 is the strongest one. But if you're going to compare it with 
other strong acids like HCl, HBr, HI is going to be weaker. So again, it's a relative term. So comparing with what? Now using this acid strength, you can predict the direction of the equilibrium uh, because stronger acids, if, if, if stronger acids are reacting with stronger bases, they form weaker acids and weaker base. Strong acid forms a weak conjugate base. A weak acid forms a strong conjugate base. You cannot, uh, you cannot make strong from strong or weak from the weak. So what does that mean? So equilibrium favors the formation of the weaker acid, that is the acid with smaller Ka value so here's the question um, for example let's say um, let me take this example ascorbic acid which is vitamin c uh, this formula is c6h2o6 when and since acid it has ka value 7.9 times 10 to the negative fifth what does that ka value means that when the, you put this in the water it breaks down to form the ion so that value is this when you put that in let's say a base ammonia it forms this is my conjugate base and this is my conjugate acid ammonia so this is my acid this is my base this is <coughs> here conjugate acid conjugate base okay i think acid loses the proton to form the conjugate base i am so sorry cb conjugate base conjugate acid so on the left side so on the left side this is my acid on the right side this is my acid conjugate acid and this acid ka value is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th so then the question is out of these two acids which one is the stronger acid this one because this value is higher negative fifth that makes the number bigger than negative tenth so this is my stronger acid acid stronger than nh4 plus that means this is my weaker acid and your equilibrium always favors the formation of weaker means it likes to go from strong to the weak side so that means my equilibrium will be more towards product than reactant so i should put my arrows like this more towards product than reactant because it goes more towards the weaker side the next topic is the dissociation of water uh, as we saw that water can act as both acid as well as a base is an amphoteric substance that means in the water when you have water you can think half of the molecules are acting as an acid and half of the molecules are acting as a base so this is called water auto ionization that um, half of them are reacting as acid half of them are reacting as a base acid donates proton base accepts proton so this is my reaction that shows the auto ionization reaction for the water so if I'm writing the equilibrium constant expression for that, K, that is the concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. And I'm not going to put any reactants because it's written liquid and we don't put solid and liquid. And since we are talking about the just water, we'll give this uh, K a specific name. We're going to call it as KW. W stands for water. So it is a constant expression equilibrium constant expression for water 
uh, so we also call it as ion product constant kw also known as ion product constant now here if we talk about a neutral solution that means the concentration of hydronium ions will be same as concentration of hydroxide ions concentration means we are talking about let's say molarity this square bracket means molarity number of moles in a liter of solution so we are saying that we have equal number of hydronium ions and hydroxide ions in the pure water and experimentally we can show that the concentration of hydronium ions or concentration of hydroxide ions in pure water is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th uh, at 25 degrees Celsius. So if I have my, if I take this value and find out the value of Kw my in pure water, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th, times 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th it will give me 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th that means kw equals to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th um, that's the value of kw for all aqueous solutions at 25 degrees celsius but this is for the pure water now let's say if we are given the concentration of hydronium ions can i find the concentration of oh negative by using this reaction yes because i know my kw is equal to h3o plus times oh negative kw value is constant and then you put the value of hydronium ion which is 0 0.0058 and then you can find the hydroxide ion you have to divide both sides with 0 0.0058 cancels out so OH negative will be when you solve it it will be 1.7 times 10 to the negative 12th how many significant figures are here 2 my answer has 2 so this ion product of water is a constant for all aqueous solutions this is the value but what if the solution is acidic the solution is acidic means hydronium ion concentration is greater than hydroxide ion concentration what does that mean that means your hydronium ion concentration is greater than this 10 to the negative 7th similarly in a basic solution you have more hydroxide ions hydroxide ions are more than hydronium ions which again means that the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than 10 to the negative 7th molar m for molarity 